Yo. Hey, good morning. What is going on with you? Spent three hours in the hospital yesterday. Oh my Give God. Me. Redislocated my shoulder. How'd you manage to do that? I'll leave that to the archives. <laughs> So like it popped out? Yeah, it popped, um, because I had surgery on it, when, once it pops out, it doesn't pop back in again. Right. So it, it's uh, unbelievably painful. Yeah, I can it's, uh, it's an interesting kind of pain. It kind of lives outside of you. You know yeah. it hurts, you know you're, like, you're screaming and whatnot. Yeah. And like, yeah. Wow. Anyway, so um, went, to, uh, went to the hospital. They had to, uh, it's called... Um, Recess? No. Um, it's something to do. I, I find I find the word very funny because it uh, it's the same term of reduce. They have to reduce it. Oh. It's like a reduction in the kitchen. Hmm. Yeah. So, but that means they uh, put you out completely. Yeah. And then uh, do whatever magic because it's not possible to do it on a wake person. Wow. So here we are. So you were knocked right out, and then they they put it back in. Uh, and then, then you come to, and you're fine. And then you got to take it easy for until it goes away. For a while, yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Well, I thought I was having a bad day. <laughs> what happened to you? Well, this morning my, I went drove my daughter to work, and my wife was leaving right after us, and I got yeah. home, and her car was still in the driveway. Anyway, her car won't start, and uh, we tried to boost it. So now the t a tow truck's coming to to tr take it to the dealership. We think the battery's dead, but like she had it in a week and a half ago to get the transmission replaced. So, and how old is the car? So only a twenty seventeen. It's got one hundred and twenty thousand kilometers on it. And you already replacing transmission? Yeah. Well, the transmission failed. So oh, the wow. uh, the when she first took it in, they said, oh, it's going to be like $6,500. And then uh, they said, but your your warranty's just kind of expired, so we'll see. So anyway, it only ended up costing her like $1,300. But still, it's, uh, you know, you uh, we all just take our cars for granted that you get in, turn the key, and you drive away. So um, and unfortunately, she, I mean, she was supposed to be at work today, but it's not, it's not like the world isn't going to fall apart if she doesn't make it in, but no, no, no it's all going to be fine. Yeah. It will be fine. Tomorrow's our, uh, our 20th anniversary actually. So I'm looking forward oh. to going for a nice steak dinner at the keg tomorrow night. You're a spring chicken basically. Oh yeah. <laughs> we celebrated a 20th anniversary last year. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, not as we expected it to be. We wanted it to be like fly somewhere to Europe, but yeah, we all know that last year uh, derailed many of those plans. Yeah, for sure. For, well, we've been talking about going to London next summer. UK? Because the course that I'm on, the, the, the last week is a live, you can go there live. Mm -hmm. And it's in July, so I thought I was thinking about it, and I was talking to my wife, saying, "Like maybe we should plan a family trip to to London around the course. I'll do the course for the three days, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then we can spend some time in London. We can go to Paris. We can go to I don't know. We can. You're in Europe, so I mean, within two or three hours, you can be a lot of places. <laughs> that, that is actually absolutely true." You can do whatever you heck you want. And that's why they have so many languages. Somebody asked me, um, you know how European road signs are all symbols? No, I, I've never really yeah. driven there. Let me see. So, yeah, so that's our, our big plan for next year. That is a good plan. That is a good plan. I haven't figured out how to pay for it yet, but we'll uh, that that'll 
Yeah. Across the <laughs> room, we get the right. Oh, if only I could share my screen. Yes. See how rusty we are. <sighs> so um, it's basically a collection. Uh, that's not a good one. Like this is, these are the road signs. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I can make it bigger. Yeah, that's fine. So you see this? Yeah. So you have to know what each one of this means. Some of them are more or less intuitive. Yeah. Some quite far from it. So uh, we were talking about the fact like why, um, why would Europe have such a crazy amount of symbols that you you actually need to know what they mean. Yeah. And the reason for that is, is because there's so many different languages. Right. So if, if, if in Canada, you can just put exit 88, well, yeah. that just goes for only portion of the population. Right. Interesting. Well, I was talking to Olga when I was in uh, Netherlands in mm -hmm. Den Bosch, I got lost like every day, every time I went in for a walk, I got lost. And she was saying that the the because it's like a spider web, right? Like there's the central, yeah, it's square. mostly it's on radial, yeah. yeah. And uh, but she was saying, and I don't know if this is true or not, that um, the little cities and towns are designed that way to be confusing for foreigners because of invasion and like it's easier to to defend um, something when people don't know where the hell they are. <laughs> Well, there is than a, there's than a quadrant than a quadrant system like we have here, which is like you know it's all a grid. Yeah, it's, there's truth to that, and it's also because uh, in back in prehistoric years, when when cities were built, they were built around the uh, sort of castle yeah. and the surrounding wall. Yeah, and then they would expand and they would build another wall. So it was always a circle, circle. that was expanding, expanding, expanding. All right. Interesting. Yeah, I, I got lost. So, and then of course, because I couldn't read any of the signs, because they're all in Dutch, I've, and, and I've got my phone. And for whatever reason, like Google Maps, it doesn't orient itself necessarily to the way you're pointed. So I, I would get myself turned around, and I don't know. There's one time I was looking for the hotel, and literally it was like ten feet that way, and I walked for another thirty minutes in the opposite direction. <laughs> Anyway. I'm never going on a hike with you, Frank. Yeah, I'll go with it. I was, I was not, uh, I was navigationally challenged in, uh, in Netherlands. Anyways, um, so what time was this in the middle of the night or the middle of the day you were at the hospital? Uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, so that's not too bad. I assume the hospital wasn't very busy. No, it wasn't. Uh, well organized and, um, um, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily know how it works because when you add, end up in emergency and you expect, uh, like, oh my God, this fucking hurts. Yeah. Somebody save me. At the same time, there are another five beds with people sometimes with way worse conditions than you are. Yeah. yeah. So the doctors and nurses who work there, I mean, God love them. How they do it, I do not know. Yeah. How do they endure every single day of just seeing people in pain, agony, and trauma? Yeah. That's all you see. Yeah, I know. It's a tough, tough gig. <laughs> I think tough gig doesn't even begin to describe what that gig is like. Yeah. But they were very helpful, and um, and uh, they let me be in like in three hours. We were out of there, which is which is very fast. That's good. Yeah. Jesus Christ, cat, get off! My cat's trying to get into the room. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so did you, I guess you didn't get any, anything done yesterday much. I did not get anything done yesterday. After, after the sedation, like, I mean, I, I, barely, I barely started functioning as a human being by uh, nightfall. Yeah. Because you're so groggy, it's like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, yeah, I, I was reworking my leadership for teens course yesterday and it, I was laughing because it was like, why am I saying, okay, 
see welcome to module four and see you in module five <laughs> like all the the lessons that we've learned about stating re referring to other modules of the course that was my mistake yeah sorry i was just doing more than cat cat what's wrong with me what's wrong with me cat yeah i remember I how have... painful it was to redo all of the material when i realized that it's not going to flow in that sequence yeah well for me it's a, just a few minor editing things so that's fine mm. um go ahead remember how i was pleased that my intro screen always had like episode one or yeah. lesson one yeah that was a bigger pitch like voiceover you can just dub over yeah but uh this thing i, I really physically had to change yeah oh, yeah i know um I also started thinking about the idea that we talked about yesterday with the Trello board. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about that for other applications, like my, like the building resume building in leadership for teens. Like you could put all the tasks on a Trello board uh, interview simulator. Like if you, you could have like a finding your next job Trello board that kind of walking through different, steps of the process, things like that. Anyway, I think I was just thinking about other applications for that idea that I think are pretty, pretty good ideas to try to explore. Do you, uh, do you ever have um, a feeling of an imposter syndrome? I mean, it's one thing to talk about finding a job that neither you or I have been able to do that. Yeah. Uh, well, um, no, I mean, I, I, uh, I guess, you know, there's times when I lack confidence, like when I'm doing coaching and things, I think like, what am I doing? Like you do it, but then I, I don't know, I have good conversations. I've had, I've had feedback from people like in my peer coaching that says I'm good. And people in my peer coaching too, are like asking me one lady is like, Oh, what, what books do you recommend about the three principles? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know any books. I, I just felt, I just learned about this stuff like in March through this course. And she was like, Oh my God, you, I thought you'd be been studying this for years kind of thing. <laughs> like, Nope, just a quick learner, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I think everybody ha comes and goes with that kind of thinking, but for me, it's, I'm, I don't know. I tend to have more comp, comp My problem is I'm overconfident versus, not confident enough. Um, so is it like, even when I went to meet that at that manufacturing plant a couple weeks ago and the lady comes in and she's like, you know, do you, do you think we should just uh, invest in an ERP system, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, you know, there's pros and cons. And I, I didn't know even what she was talking about. <laughs> so I can bullshit my but way. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes actually there, there are times where people are not, they're asking for your opinion, but they're not actually asking for your opinion. Yeah. So when you come up with a response, they find it satisfactory because it feels like they heard an opinion. Yeah. And if it jives with what they want to do, great. If it doesn't, well, let's just chalk it up to, uh, yeah. Well, I, it's funny because these are some of the, the, not really, I guess they are tactics, I guess, but things I'm trying to learn from observing Jamie, like, it's like, uh, he has a, it's not really a script, but it's kind of an example of a conversation about coaching when somebody's like, oh, so, you know, uh, what's coaching all about? It's like, well, you know, coaching covers a lot of things. Like, what do you, what have you heard or what's your impression of coaching where you just kind of like, turn it back on the people in terms of trying to figure out what it is that's their opinion so that you can understand where they're coming from better before you just jump into answering their questions. Like you answer, you basically, it's like a politician kind of thing, like answer a question with a question. That's true. Um, anyway, I was reworking a lot of my pricing yesterday too, trying to figure out, because like for my leadership for teens, I'm thinking of, I'm gonna give away the resume building part and then try to upsell into the leadership for teens course and then have a bundle that if they buy 
that plus intro to grocery retail plus interview simulator. It's like a stupid low price uh, for all three. Um, something along that those lines. I'm, I'm noodling around. Like thirty nine ninety nine for the leadership for teams on its own, or forty nine ninety nine for all three things, and then positioning it as you know, if you if you worked a four hour shift at minimum wage, that pays for the package. Yeah. So. Anyway, we'll see how we need to. The teens, uh, the teens realize that they need this. No, well, they don't need. They need what they need is the uh, the resume part. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and then, uh, and then the the way I'm positioning the other pieces is that you're basically paying for bullet points on your resume slash experience slash talking points in an interview mm -hmm. right? like a, like part of uh, I, I did some scripts yesterday for some add-ons to my course that talks about um you know a scenario let's let's assume you've never done anything like you've never worked you've never volunteered you've never played sports you don't do well in school you don't go to any clubs you basically don't do anything so you got nothing Mm -hmm. So I, I talked about, you know, well, what if you are an, an avid reader? What if you're a video gamer? What if you're like, I, I did three or four scenarios and said, like, here's skills that you could put on your resume that you have from those things. But then I also said, you know, let's look at our core skill list. So uh, the first one was communication, Google communication. There's so much free stuff you can watch online. You can take free courses so then you can put on your resume, I took a communications course, and then you can articulate, here's what you learned in it. So if you buy leadership for teens course, you can put on your resume, that you completed online leadership course, and then you can talk about the concepts. Interesting. Um, you know, that, that kind of stuff. Like if you, if you buy introduction to grocery retail, it's, it's applicable to any retail position really, but you're learning about the four P's of marketing and how they relate to a retail environment. So again, you, you put that on your resume. So for, for, you know, for $50, you can learn how to get content for your resume and buy basically bullet points to put on it. So you go from having nothing to a resume and some, it'll come with uh, some wording and scripts, if you want to call them that for how to answer questions. But oh, so what did you learn in this leadership course? Well, I learned this, this, and this. Anyway. You sell it really well. You do sell it really well. The problem is you got to sell it in uh, like 10 seconds versus a whole conversation. But um, anyway, and I, I'm going to re, I'm planning by the end of the, this month is my goal um, to relaunch everything for August 1st. Yeah, I uh... today I'm going to build. I'm making two more commercials for story time today. And the videos that you found, yeah. Well, one I have a video, it's of like a grandmother with two kids, mm -hmm. so it's the whole grandparent angle. And then, uh, when I was falling asleep last night, I had to, I got to look up some stock footage for I want some military footage, like either somebody coming home from deployment or leaving for deployment. And just talking about that and, and then maybe another one with the working late kind of theme so yeah yesterday yesterday threw, threw me for a loop i'm completely zoned out i need to refocus on whatever the heck that i need to do because right now i'm just thinking in my head like what am i going to do today I could sell you a Trello template that tells you exactly what to do today. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. Uh, if only, if only this could work. If we only sold things to you and I. I don't know. I'm I. Uh, I'm trying to reinvigorate the motivation myself. Yeah.
but all right well get some rest i will so Sorry, uh, i'm not not much of that yeah, today totally understandable do you have to wear that sling all the time or only when you're walking around for um, it's more so uh, it's more so a kind of um non-mental cue not to raise my hand above shoulder level right it really doesn't do anything it's just unnecessary because i can just just hold my heart uh, my hand down that's fine yeah, yeah. but uh, this is more so i don't raise it accidentally especially when i sleep yeah yeah, yeah it sucks uh, it suck, all right well we'll see you tomorrow stay safe okay bye bye, bye.